Hey, greetings everyone. This is Mike. I'm coming to you from Samurai Geek Designs, but uh, today, you know, I'm going to do something rare. I never do uh, out-of-box reviews because uh, the kits that I usually get have usually been out for up to about 15 plus years. Uh, so, uh, this one I think is relatively new. I just went and picked this up at Hobby Lobby, the, uh, the pit of Satan. But anyway... Uh, I got this with the 40 off coupon and that's really the only reason why I go to Hobby Lobby is because it's right across the mall from us and I, I can use the 40 off coupon for just about anything that, that comes out over there. But hey, uh, this is uh, not the uh, small 144 scale. I'm not even sure what this is as far as scale goes, but you get more pieces and you get the option to do either the new Force Awakens square radar dish or the classic round one in this kit. So um, a lot of you guys are probably going to like that option here. In fact, uh, when I build this one, I'm going to leave the radar dish off and let whoever decides to pick this up from us decide which radar dish they would like. So over here, uh, this is the kit uh, you can see for scale. Uh, it is pre-painted, but you know me, the first thing I'm going to do is take this over to the back area and uh, spray this all down black and then rebuild the paint myself. But uh, just to give you the a rundown of the kit, this is, uh, the detail looks pretty clean. It's a little, it's a little deep in there, but you know what that's going to take to all of the washes and all of the wiping really, really, excuse me, really, really well. Hey, how's it going? And... Again, no flash whatsoever on the sprues. Uh, top and bottom are one piece. And they did add some little blaster effects. Again, which I'm just, everything's going to get repainted. It's a little heavy right there. And there's no shape to the uh, the detail. I mean, the, the weathering here. Uh, all of this looks pretty bad right now. But like I said... These reveal kits have proven to be pretty pretty cool once you get some paint on them. I have not been as critical as most other guys have been saying. I've heard criticisms going out that these would not be acceptable by old 80s NPC standards. But you know what? Uh, just looking at the amounts of... The, actually, the absence of flash alone, I think that kind of like speaks volumes over the NPC kits. Plus, nothing is warped. The plastic is really, really sturdy. And sure, some of the details are soft, but you know what? Uh, I don't think anybody has made a perfect Millennium Falcon to date. I mean, I've seen guys hacking up the mandibles on fine molds kits, so I guess no, but nobody's perfect, so. Uh, we do get an interior, which I will be painting. There are no figures. I haven't seen them. No, no figures. Uh, so that's okay. But um, there is a back wall that's painted black, and that can be detailed with uh, some Swarovski jewels that I'll be using for this build. Uh, but this is going to be a static build that's going to have the gear down. I don't. It has some gear covers, but I don't know if I can actually fix these guys here to, uh, to fit. But like I said, here's the classic radar dish, along with the uh, the gear some sidewalls and all of this I don't I don't know I, I've never really quite looked at the detail but all of this looks like the sidewall detail again from the old NPC kit looks really familiar to me uh, same with this except for a few added greeblies but that's pretty much what I remember from the NPC kit of the 80s same with these sidewalls, the detail looks, uh, I can't vouch for the accuracy, but you know what, it's going to look really, really cool once I get some paint on it. But, uh, what, oh, that's a radar dish part. The square dish comes on this sprue right here, which is the last one, which includes the, uh, the, this is the, oh, there's not even detail down there, but this is the, uh, the uh, entrance ramp here is the square a rectangular dish and you can see that the detail here right there is what goes into 
the dish or this little dish right here. I don't know, is that Time Warner, is that Dish Network? But um, uh, yeah, so, so you get to do the detail. I may actually do this one in uh, the new Force Awakens just to be timely and up to date with everything. I have a few other Millennium Falcons, as you can tell. I've got this guy right here, which is pretty much just essentially a toy. Uh, if I can get... Oh, wrong one. Okay. It's got two LEDs in the back, and the lights don't stay on continuously, but that is going to stay... It's going to remain a, a, a toy with, with the option to put, put the gear up and down and fly around and pew, pew, pew with this one. But this one is going to be a much... Ooh, excuse me a much more detailed kit the kit alone retails for about 80 bucks uh, again I got it for about $47 with the 40 off coupon which is still kind of a kick in the teeth for me but uh, you know what uh, this will go this will this someone's gonna pick this up I hope if not this is gonna be a lot of wasted effort on my part but uh, I'm hopeful that uh, somebody's going to pick this up before Christmas, so we will see. This is going to be part of our Black Friday reveal gallery, so I will have uh, this guy ready, this little guy on his little diorama base. Uh, this one will be ready along with a few other model kits that I have up there and figures. So uh, I will talk to you more about these. You have fun, peace out, take care, and don't... Stick your fingers together. Later. <laughs>